Whiskey Jason here, whiskey from the viewpoint of an American over here in Germany, tasting often rare and exotic whiskeys. Today, I have the Irishman Founders Reserve Sherry Cask Finish. Now, on the box, it says here, small batch. Hmm. It says non-chilled filtered. Yay. It says Oloroso Sherry Cask Finish, the Irishman Founders Reserve. 46%, which is great. So whiskey base number 185178. And this was added to the whiskey base in January 2021. Now there is actually a press release from the 20th of October 2020. And it says basically the Irishman Founders Reserve gets sherry for Merry Christmas and nine casks to be shared worldwide across select markets, including USA, Canada, Russia, and Ireland. And by the way, Germany. All right, so this was October 2020. The world has changed since then. We would not be proud to say, hey, select markets with Russia. All right, so I uh, was able to attain this. Now let's go back. Um, Basically, December, January uh, 20, uh, 2020, 2021, I bought this bottle. Uh, the problem was sometimes I buy more bottles than I can actually share and do videos about. So it goes on my shelf and then new bottles go in front and so on and so on. So I'm in the process of getting rid of some of the backlog. And before I went on vacation this summer for a week, I took pictures of like six, seven bottles that I wanted to video, do a video of because I always do a bottle share. And so I put this up during my vacation time as a bottle share, totally gone. I was very, very happy with that. That's great. And so this is a bottle that actually appeared in Germany uh, almost two and a half years ago. So that's why I'm doing it now. And it says here um, that we actually have the Irishman Founders Reserve Oloroso Sherry Cask Finish is triple distilled, yay, entirely in copper pot stills and aged in American oak bourbon barrels before being finished in Oloroso cask for an additional 12 months and bottled at 46%. So now, first of all, it's a shame that they did not mention how long it was matured beforehand. So now uh, you have to know that the Irishman belongs to Bernard Walsh. His uh, name is on here. In the meanwhile, he sold his company. He's still general, general manager. Um, he sold it to a company It was actually targeting Russia. <laughs> I just love these little bits and tads of information here. They were going for the Eastern European market, in particular, going over to Russia. Hmm. Oh, well, we'll see how that works out. And um, what we have here is this is a single barrel. So this is a single cask release. It says so here. It says it's actually uh, cask number 1505. Over here in Germany, 1505 hit as well as 1504, where the others in seven went, I'm not sure. So I have bottle number 137 from 936, 46% ABV sherry, and it's a Founders Reserve. Now, the Founders Reserve had already been with the Florio Mazala, did a video about that online, and there was also the Chairman's Reserve, the Rum Cask. Mm, I'm not sure if I did a video about that one or not. I have to go take a look. These were all limited editions. So you have 900 barrels with about 930, 940 um, bottles each. So nine times 930, you get about 8,000 bottles all over the world, which is just fine. All right, so these are basically gone. The recommended retail price is $99.99, way too high, or 75 euros, still way too high. All right, so um, on the market in the Germany, there's still one shop that has it for 55. 55 euros is what I shared it for. That's what I um, said I paid for it and so on. Um, I don't even, I don't have a receipt anymore. I have to go look in my book, my bookkeeping, my accounting to find out I was too lazy. What am I going to compare it to? I'm going to compare it to a limited release Bushmills 10 year old sherry cask finish with 46%. Now, if you're a whiskey-based person, this will be whiskey base number 179021. So this was released in March of 2021. This was added to the whiskey base in January 2021. So they're just basically, I'm two and a half years late to talk about the best whiskeys we could have bought back then. All right, about two, two and a half years ago. 
This is still on sale in Germany for 38 euros. 38 euros for a one liter bottle, originally travel retail, limited release, cask reserve. 38 euros for a one liter, 55, originally supposed to be 75, and $99 for a 0 0.7. So now how long was the finish? We don't really know. It says here, matured for a minimum of 10 years. This unique single malt is finished in Oloroso sherry barrels, hand selected by Bushmills master blender, Helen Mulholland. Oh, she's also long gone. But she did a great, great job. Thank you very much, Helen, once again for Causeway's collection. Thank you very much for all that you're doing. Now we have here Alex take, took your place, and she's also doing an excellent job at Bushmills. Now, just looking at these very, very briefly, the Bushmills is darker. It might be because of the 10 years in oak. It might be because of the somewhat more color-intensive casts that were used here. I don't know, but I do know this is a no age statement. I do know this has an age statement. I do know this says non chilled filtered. This does not say that. This does not say anything about natural color, nor does this. I do know the price 55, and I do know the price 38, one liter. This is the bargain with an age statement and 46%. Let's see if it delivers on the nose. Going over here, first of all, to the Irishman. The Irishman is always a mixture, the what Rydra's Tears is a mixture as well of single pot still from Ireland and single malt from Ireland. All right, so it's not a single malt, it's not a single pot still, it's an Irish whiskey mixed, they call it the champagne of Irish whiskey. It's a mix, a cuvee of that, and if I remember correctly, the Irishman has more, it's either single malt or single pot, so I always forget, it's 60, 40, 40, 60. All right, here at Bushmills, 100% malted barley, copper still, copper pot still, and um, this is then single malt. Now this has a much, much stronger, attractive, and delicious nose. I get leather, I get figs, I get the sherry coming through here. This is very, 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 very nice. This, I get a little bit more of an orange peel moment. I get much less of the leather, much less of the figs, or even a little bit, a little bit more of a plum moment going on here. And I get a tiny, tiny little bit of a, I don't know if I can really smell it, but I imagine it a little bit of chalky mineral moment going on here in comparison to this. It's good. This is just better. So on the nose, I would give this a B minus. I would give this a solid C. All right. So let's try this first, the 46%. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice 46%. A little bit of a darker, a little bit more of a berry, a little bit more of a blackberry moment going on here. This is okay whiskey. This is... C plus whiskey. Value for money, 55 euros, no age statement. C, C plus, and the taste. Go for more C plus today. I would go for a C to C minus for value for money. I just think the 55 euros is for this too much. All right? So for those of you that are not perfectly um, aware of my grading system, the A is, why haven't you bought it? Go buy it now. B is buy it, C is you buy if you need to, if you want to, D, we don't really need it, and F, why was the stuff even made? All right, so a solid C, all right? Value for money, so sorry, C plus for the taste, C, C minus for the value for money, especially at the recommended retail price of 75. $99 for this, no, don't buy it. All right, so there are other things out there much, much better. This, for example, at the moment, still in Europe for, 38, I found it online for 36, 34, I can find it online as well in Austria. All right, so um, this is on the nose as well as on the palate. Mm. Mm. The berries, the strawberries, the, the, the leather, the figs, the plums, the... The dates, mmm, oh, very, very nice. There's a tiny little bit of a green 
sap moment, but I have the feeling that the sherry finish basically covered that, hid that more or less. Now I am tasting, this is summer over here in Europe. We don't have air conditioning over here. Um, outside it is 80 some degrees, inside it's 80 some degrees. Um, this might affect a little bit of the sens uh, sensory perception I'm having here, but um, still, this is this is a B minus C plus plus whiskey in my case. I really like this. It's a B. It's a C plus for value for money. One liter, thirty eight euros at um, forty six percent from Ireland with a cask uh, sherry finish, and it's good. It's delicious. I like it. Go buy. If you can find this, and it has this orange signal color that you can always see in my shelf. Everyone's always, well, Jason, behind you, take that, do that, do that. And I have that as a comparison sometimes. Now, just to briefly go back to the Irishman, is the Irishman a bad whiskey? Definitely not. It's a C plus whiskey in the mouth. On the palate, but I just think the money that I paid for this in comparison to this is a little bit too much. Hmm. That's the winner today. Got some complexity, but got some depth. But does have that mineral, chalky moment going on there. This has a little bit of the, the green going on that green wood moment, sap wood. This has a little bit of that chalkiness, mineral moment. Yeah, both of them have their place in the world, or had their place in the world about two, two and a half years ago. The question is, do we still find these? Now, my question of the day is, imagine you can't find either of these. You want an Irish whiskey with a great sherry influence. I would go for the Irishman 17. If you can find it, it's going to be 100, 120 euros at the moment. Buy it. It's one of the best whiskeys I've had with a sherry. Full 17-year sherry maturation, single cask, delicious cask strength. It's one of the best um, whiskeys out there, period. If I can't find that, um, I'm going to go for a red breast 12-year-old cast strength with sherry influence. Um, if I'm not going to find that, I think there was an W.D. O'Donnell. Um, there was a, sh a single cast, 0 0.5 liter. I think it was a 12-year-old. Oh, that was good. And there's some great, great whiskeys out there with sherry cask influence in the Irish whiskey world. What would you recommend? What would you choose? Um, even the 10-year-old here from that is very, very, very nice. So what recommendations can you give others in the chat here for a good Irish whiskey with sherry cask influence? influence? Thank you very much for watching, liking, subscribing, telling others, and see you very soon. Whiskey Jason here. Bye-bye.